Hi, my name is Hendrik and I'm the founder of WMExperts.online, a platform for web-based SAP EWM consulting. This video is part of a series called Understand SAP EWM, where we are trying to explain and describe <coughs> the core features, uh, the core um, concepts and ideas of the main features and functionalities of EWM. Within the next minutes, you will hear something about the different levels of serial number management in EWM in a way that you've probably not heard it before. I have to mention that there is a, a disclaimer on wmexperts.online slash disclaimer, which is also valid for everything that we publish as part of this video or around this video. For the functional part, I will now hand over to our assistant Inga and I will get back to you after this part with some more comments and a little bit of marketing, of course. Um, we would appreciate in case you leave us a comment, either right below this video or on our website, and just tell us what you think, whether you like, whether you did not like the video, and um, whether you have any ideas how we can improve or which topics we could cover within the next videos. That's it for now. You can just relax, lean back, and soak up some EWM knowledge. Have fun. To make it understandable, let's jump into the real world before we look at the system. Imagine you are the government of a random country and you want to track the individuals which enter or leave your country. Depending on the desired level of security and visibility, you could think about three different approaches how to do this. With the first and easiest approach, you concentrate on specific borders only. So only for specific neighboring countries, you want to know which individuals are coming from and or leaving towards this country. You now know who passes this border in a given direction, but you do not yet know who resides in your country. To enable the latter, you need to implement the second approach. Here, you check all movements in and out of your country at any given border. No exceptions. This is the only way to be able to know who is in your country at a given point in time. Even more restrictive and less libertarian countries might even go one step further. They want to know the whereabouts of each individual at any given point in time. So after crossing the border, everybody will receive a tracking device to enable monitoring of every single movement. Not a nice vision, by the way. Anyhow, we still think a good summary to understand the three options that we have in SAP EWM. Although you will probably be able to draw the system-related conclusions on your own, we give you a quick overview about the corresponding system settings for each approach. These settings are captured on the serial number profile, which is in turn assigned to the product master data. This also means that you can make the decision about the degree of tracking on product level. Tracking on document level. This approach is used to capture serials for specific delivery types. Returns or kitting orders might be a common example. Tracking on warehouse level means that you capture serials during all receiving or issuing processes. This enables you to know at any point in time which serials you have in the warehouse. The last option is to capture the serial numbers implicitly or explicitly during every movement of the given object or quant. With this setting, you know the exact bin for every serial number at any given point in time. Of course, you also have the option to not track serial numbers at all. Should be obvious, but worth mentioning. Some countries have not understood yet. Thank you very much, Inga. And um, I would just like to mention three points before we close this video. The first point is your skills. I think practice is the most important thing, so try and error going to the projects steadily using the system, but um, I also think that the theoretical base is essential and um, you should build one and I put you the links uh, to, I put you the books um, that I use to develop mine just below this video. Yes, it's, it's affiliate links, but I uh, would appreciate if you like the books, if you want the books, just use this one. And um, second point is our service. On wmexperts.online, you have the option to um, 
get in touch with our team of certified experts. We are doing remote consulting via state-of-the-art tools like Jira or Slack, or we support you on site. And the third and last point is our channel. Um, you can hit the subscribe button and we will notify you, we will notify you about uh, new videos. So that's it for today. That's it for this video. Appreciate if you push the like button in case you like this video and leave us a comment um, with your thoughts and ideas for following videos. Thanks and bye.